This exercise is to work on the popliteus muscle. Now popliteus is, or popliteus depending on what continent you live on, um, popliteus is a muscle that is inherently important when we're talking about the rotational control of the knee. Um, runners often, if they've got weakness through this popliteus, get a lot of cartilage pain. But it's important for cyclists as well because when we're talking about the reduction of the cue angle and making sure that the kneecap is tracking straight, a big element of that is where is the insertion point of the kneecap falling. So I'm going to just zoom in a little bit and show you at first just what the movement of popliteus looks like and then we'll go over the exercise. So if we look at popliteus, its role, you can see my bony knees here, is to adjust where this bone here falls. Now that bone is the insertion you can see of the patellar tendon. If it's over here, my patellar tendon is going to be on an angle that could give me patellar tendonitis. But it's also going to make my, it's going to make my kneecap want to track laterally, which is the number one cause of pain behind the knee. So this is how we train popliteus as an exercise. So we're on to the exercise now. So I'm sitting in a relatively low chair. This one might be a tiny bit too low for me, but you want your knee around 90 degrees. You want your heel located right underneath your knee. Um, a perfect height for most people is actually the toilet. Um, and then you make sure you practice this a few times a day. But sitting in this chair, I've got my heel under my knee. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my foot outwards. This hand, it's important that you have it right at the base of the knee, right in the crease, and palpating or touching the hamstring tendons. Because if you fire your hamstrings doing this, that's a mistake, that's wrong, okay? They will produce the, the popliteus movement, but if you're using your hamstrings instead of the popliteus, guess what you're gonna get? A hamstring tendonitis. So, we start with our foot rotated out as far as it can go. Now, mine goes a long way. I've got a lot of flexibility with this particular thing. And what we want to do is we want to just turn the foot inwards as far as we can go without the hamstrings firing, okay? What that's doing, again, is lining up this patellar um, tendon's insertion point, the tibial tubercle. Now, it should ideally fall right in the middle of your knee. But when we're trying to work on the muscle, it's okay to bring it too far and actually bring it as far as it can possibly go. Now, the point of this exercise, you're not going to get much of a burning sensation. You may, if you're really good at it, learn to feel sort of a sense of effort of this popliteus and it kind of produces this weird all over achy fatigue when you're, when you're firing it. But the main thing is, is can you use the muscle without compensation? Now the number one compensation is to fire the medial hamstring, in which case you'll feel the tendon tensing up underneath your fingers. It's easy to feel, it's a big fat tendon. The other compensation and it's a little bit harder to fix this one, is when people use sort of an ankle sweep and they kind of do this with their ankle. So if you watch this bone underneath my fingertips, when I do it right, this bone and my foot are moving simultaneously. But if I do that, my foot is moving, my knee isn't moving at all. In fact, I could put my patellar tendon way over here and do this with my foot, I still got a massive deviation in that patellar tendon. That's not gonna fix my patellar tendonitis. So the foot has to stay flat, and one of the best ways to think about it is if the base of the big toe comes up in the air as you do this, then you're doing a foot sweep. Your foot should stay totally flat. I like to touch the bone of my knee as I'm doing this and watch my foot so that I make sure that there's a simultaneousness, if that's even a word, of the movement, and I'm not moving my foot more than I'm moving my shin. So it's a tricky exercise. Our aim is to kind of come across as far as we can go without cheating, so for me it's about there. And now I want to hold that for 10 seconds and I want to repeat it 10 times to let our brains learn how to use this muscle.